Hi folks, in this episode I'm going to talk about properties of Shapley value um, or a sort of axioms behind the Shapley value. So I'm going to start with some definitions and then I will give assumptions or axioms uh, which are going to lead to uh, the theorem that I will talk at the end. So the first definition is the following. It's called uh, interchangeability of players. So in any game, in any coalitional game, players I and J, two different players, are called interchangeable if for any coalition that excludes player I and J, uh, the valuation, the worth of new coalition S union I is equal to the coalition, the worth of the coalition S union J. So to speak, it says the marginal contribution of player I and player J to any uh, a, a coalition is the same, all right? So whether you <clears throat> include player I to your coalition or player J to your coalition, it doesn't matter. The marginal contribution is going to be the same, all right? So it's kind of the, you know, these two guys are kind of equivalent, all right? Well, the axiom, the symmetry axiom basically uh, underlines this. And it says, if player I and J are interchangeable, well, then they're equivalent, you know, code and code. And so their payoffs must be the same, all right? XI must be equal to XJ, okay? So if they're uh, sort of in that sense uh, interchangeable, well, then their payoffs at the end of the game must be the same. Uh, uh, the second definition is a dummy player. Player I is called a dummy player if for any coalition, S, which in excludes uh, player I, um, the uh, marginal contribution of player I is exactly equal to uh, uh, his own, uh, his self-worth. What does that mean? That means player I's marginal contribution to any coalition is identical to what he could achieve uh, by being alone. All right? So, um, I mean, his being part of any coalition it doesn't actually bring anything new to the table uh, all right so in that sense it's dummy i mean whether you include him to a coalition or not not going to change anything um, so the axiom or the dummy player a, a assumption or axiom is the following if player i is a dummy player well then you know what his payoff from this game. So XINV basically means his payoff from the game uh, with set of players and, and the worth function V must be equal to what he could achieve if he was or if he were alone, all right? Or his self-worth. Okay, um, next, additivity. That's a technical assumption, but still there is an intuition behind it. I think it makes sense. Let me first read it and then talk about the uh, intuition. So for any two games, G1 and G2, important thing, both games have exactly the same set of players. The only thing that differs is the worth function. On one, we have the worth function V1. On the other, we have the worth function V2, all right? And for any player I, the payoff player I is going to get if we define a new game where the worth function, again, the set of players is N and the worth function is V1 plus V2. What does that mean in new game where the worth function is V1 plus V2? Well, uh, if the worth function is V1 plus V2, well then for any coalition S, uh, the worth of coalition S is going to be worth of uh, coalition S in game one plus worth of coalition S in game two. All right, so it's it's perfectly uh, edible. Uh, edible, no. Uh, uh, we can, you can perfectly add up the uh, worth of each coalition. Um, all right, so it says the <clears throat> player I's worth in this new game is equal to his worth, uh, his payoff in game one plus his payoff in game two. All right, and again, this has to be true uh, for any two uh, such games, game one and game two. Well, what is the intuition behind it? Well, it's a linearity, okay? It basically implies that if you, for example, um, take the same game and increase the value uh, for each, uh, uh, for each, what is it? 
um, coalition, if you increase the value, uh, you know, 50% or 100%, so if you double the value for each player, I mean, think it this way, you double the money or you double the amount of ice cream in our ice cream example for each coalition, all right? And so the, the payoff each player should be getting in this doubled game must be the double of the payoffs of the original game. You see what I mean? So if the if the if the worth function doubles, well, uh, then the outcome, uh, the payoff function, uh, the payoffs of each player should double as well. If you triple the worth function, well, then uh, the payoffs of each player should be triple as well. So there's some some sort of constant returns to scale um, going on. Okay, again, it's a technical assumption. But to me, it makes sense. I mean, um, yeah, well, I mean, uh, to be honest, it makes sense to me. All right, so what is the theorem? The theorem says the following. Uh, intuitively, if you're looking for some division rule, how to divide the surplus of the grand coalition, because remember, we're looking for uh, super additive games. And so... Uh, the, 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 the grand coalition will be formed. That's the optimal thing to do. And then the question was how to divide the, the, the worth of the uh, grand coalition. Well, then, uh, if you're looking for some division rule, which satisfies symmetry uh, axiom, meaning um, it treats uh, interchangeable players equally or satisfies dummy player assumption, and or satisfy not and or sorry and satisfies additivity assumption well then this division rule is it can be only and only uh sharply value okay so that's what this theorem says so let me read it given any game a coalitional game there is a unique payoff division rule x and v meaning given the game n and v um, i'm going to calculate the uh, division rule which is a vector uh, basically calculates what player 1, 2, and up to n will get. And that's equal to the phi nv, meaning, again, remember, the phi was the notation we used for the Shapley value. And again, it's a vector, phi 1, phi 2, all the way up to n, uh, phi n. That divides the full payoff of the grand coalition, and that satisfies the symmetry, dummy player, and additivity axioms. So it's a unique uh, payoff division rule. This payoff division, phi, is called the Shapley value, okay?